coming for the chopper! <laughs> What's up, lady mother gunners? So it's been about two years, almost two years since I picked up myself a work tough gear blade. I always wanted this one as part of my collection. They came around, opportune time was right, and I said, fuck it. I want one of those, but I want one of those Ares Hemlocks by DB Hemlock, Hunter McCutcheon himself, with a no choil blade. So that's what I got here. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we're looking at, see what we got. Right off the bat, you'll notice I already put the sheath together. So let's go ahead and pull this bad boy I think out. This is one of, if not the thickest blade stock out of the Work Tough gear line. I'll go ahead and put out the specs right here. Go ahead and do a little weight measure at the end, see what she comes out, see how she compares to the specs. But let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. We already gave her a bath, wiped her down. Yeah, I got the satin version right there. Oh, yeah, that's a thing of beauty. This is Bowler K329 Steel. This is the third production run. June 2024. It's a badass. The only minor imperfection that I've seen is right there. I don't know if that's a hardness test or what the that is, but I got a little dot in mine. Not that it matters because this is going to be a nice utility camp knife. This is definitely not one of those blades that you carry around. Although you could, you know, some have asked a question out there in YouTube land: Is this a knife or is this a fucking axe? I could go both ways. One thing about it, Joe X couldn't beat it. So I just had to add this one to my collection. I got a couple more coming. Now I got that work tough gear itch back. Let's go ahead and see what the sharpness level of this bad boy is after we take a look at that sick, sick G10 work by Mr. Vic Lynn himself. Oh man, it's just a stout blade right there. Like finger fuck the shit out of this. Yeah, let's go ahead and give her a sharpness. As always, got some of that Brownells catalog notebook slash phone book paper. Really thin stock, so let's go ahead and see what the sharpness level is. Did she do the curly cues? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> A blade this thick isn't supposed to do that. Let's go ahead and check out another test. Kind of rusted my work tough gear blade test here. To forgive me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like butter, man. Like freaking butter. Yes. Could do this all day. Know what I mean? Gotta take scoops. Anyway, this is my version of the Work Tough Gear Aries Hemlock. I said I wanted one of these without that finger troll because I don't really necessarily see the point of a finger troll on a blade that really isn't that long. I mean, you think about it, that Puzon Hunter, a couple other my other my work tough gear blades yeah i can see why a finger troll is needed but for this one nah i left that out so overall i'm pretty impressed with this bad boy. so here we go we got the scale out we're gonna go ahead and see how much work tough gear aries hemlock weighs in at two pounds six ounces that's a beast beast mode Fuck it! <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Damn! Oh my god! I build my own shit for me. Yo, thanks for watching this shit. <laughs>